grow a bunch of weed back here. Honestly. All dudes is thinking. <laughs> Any right mind person would. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. So essentially we got invited by Bill. If you don't know Bill, he's the owner of Habaneros and Cheese Curds and a couple other restaurants here in the city. He invited us to his new place, Pond Zoo. I don't really know much. It's like uh, sushi bowls and things like that. I really don't know too much about it, but I do know that I love Habaneros. Vegan, vegetarian. Pond Zoo's? That's what they're Pond Zoo's is vegan, vegan, vegetarian. It's, a, it's sushi, but in a bowl is what I've been told what a poke bowl is. But I do know that Habaneros is one of my favorite restaurants going here. The the variety, the fresh flavor. So we'll go to we'll go to Pond Zoo and we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's the gun place. You can shoot guns there. Private event, invite only. Hey, hey Bill. Bill. Justin. Hey, nice Justin. to meet you. Hi, Bob. Matt. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? This is Billy behind the camera. Oh, is it? Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. Thanks for uh, inviting us. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah. We're just going to get a drink in everybody's hand, I think, and, and we can try some of my beers here. Okay, cool. And then we'll, uh, after, I'll just explain everything afterwards, and I want people to come through. Sure. Sounds good. Beer in hands. Well, yeah, beers again. I was going to say, oh, especially get the ball like today. <laughs> Thanks. But I jumped out of the helicopter. So we got the helicopter right here. No, it's here. Oh, it's all this even all this. On Zoom, okay, it's 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 totally new for us, but it's also a trend that is coming, you know, west to east. We can do a thousand pounds in, in, in about an hour. If we want to serve real food, you know, tasty food, we need it to expand. Hence we went. I got beat up in social media you know, about not being in Halifax and not, you know, what do you, you don't like Halifax. And I don't think they realize there's no, there's no family money. There's only one retired Navy cook, you know, that is trying to go as, as fast as he can. If you're looking for a, a part-time job here, why wouldn't you just come work here? You get free food, some of the best food in the city. Sure, the minimum wages, and I don't know what minimum wage is right now, but why not? We might start working here. What I can tell you is that Boulanger is not cut out for this kind of business. There's no way he could cook in that heat. You would never be able to work in a restaurant setting. Whatever you get, I'm just going to say whatever he's getting. Of course, you just follow me at all times. That's it. Well, when it comes to non-business decisions, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Just freshman under, please. Yeah. It's so fresh. It's like cold and hot. Oh man. I can eat a hundred of these. You might eat yours. Pon, Pon Zoo game seven? Are you kidding me? Right off my finger? I never would have thought like Clementine, but like the Clementine's it's chicken, mandarin. whatever. You got more good chicken? Okay. Uh, no. That's good chicken? No, I got uh, shrimp and scallops. Oh. I was gonna get So this is Halifax. This is a quail of it right in here. Okay. See that anchor is? Yep. Yeah. And I get to cook for the Vice President of the United States of America. Oh, His man. dad's a big collector guy. Like that, that's I, could, a crazy I could talk right Oh, great. Are you here all the time? Is this where you're at? Uh, are you just like part, like part time. I, I do a lot of the stuff online because okay. I don't need to actually be here. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I know. It's like right, Message man. us anytime oh, if you yeah. want us to promote something. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. See you. Thank you. Have a good one. So, overall review, fantastic spot. Like, if, if the food was shitty, I would tell you it was shitty. But, Bill, you know. Bill, first of all, a great storyteller. Second of all, he knows how to cook real food. And it's hard in today's generation. Everyone wants to cook quick food, make the most money, and not have the best hospitality. Everyone's in a rush. Everyone's in a rush. If you think about it, that was great hospitality, that was great food, and overall, it was a great experience. And I think that's a rare combination to have these days. He went around and, yeah. and made a personal relationship with every single person that was yeah. here. Um, he gave you the facts, and let's be honest, today's world is built on uh, healthy food. Um, fresh food and things that everybody can eat, right? So, I mean, you just look at the new food guide for your reference if you don't believe me. So, yeah, we recommend it.
Ponzu. I want 